I mean, one of the last towns of Bulgaria, Stradalovo, which is basically near the border of Serbia, as we can see here, and near the uh, ski center of Osogovo, which is basically up there in the mountains, very far up. Now, no offense to Bulgaria, I love this country with all my heart, but unfortunately a lot of rivers in the country are polluted and a lot of parts of nature are polluted. And uh, that's not to say that there is no untouched nature left, but rivers are or have become quite toxic. But not everywhere, and this is the exception. This little river here, at the village of Stradalovo, is the exception. Look how crystal clear, and that's how all the rivers in the whole of Europe once were. Nowadays that's not the case at all. But this is the last untouched part of Europe right here. Well, you could say some parts of the Alps are the same, some parts of any mountain region. Yes, but it's not as wild and untouched as here. I would call this the Alaska of Bulgaria. Because of the mountains that undoubtedly have bears. The rough nature, the wild rivers, it has it all. The very remote settlements. It feels like Alaska. I've never been there, but I get the same adventurous type of feeling. The Bulgarian Alaska. This river is called Aleshnitsa. And it comes, it originates from Ruen Mountain, which is in the west of Bulgaria, on the border with Serbia. You can see that a lot of storms has, have taken place here because of the trees that have washed down here. So it can be quite a rough forest here. Stradolvo dog. In the outskirts of Europe, where they have the cutest animals. The village of Smolichano. There's a school up there, it's nicely maintained, I guess it's not in use, but still, looks really really cute. Here's an unpaved road on the way to the St. Anna waterfall, that's where I'm going right now. Which is actually quite close to the village of uh, Vaxevo, except that from there it's a pretty long walk. And now from Smolichano I managed to park the car a bit back where the... Uh, road was still paved and now I'm walking to the waterfall. So I thought I would never get to see it because last time in Vaxevo I didn't feel like going down the path too far and now I'm actually going to see the place. So that's cute. That's cool, I mean, can't wait to see the waterfall. It's supposed to run, I guess, because I saw a waterfall in Pirin yesterday. There's been plenty of snow and rain, so I guess it will run. This nice dog is showing the way to the waterfall. It's a bit muddy. I'm uh, afraid of dogs because I got bitten as a child a few times by a street dog. Or a few times, one bad time. Um, and that's why undeservedly I give dogs. Uh, I don't touch them. Perhaps you never should touch uh, street animals. But I, I don't really give them too much attention, even though they are really nice to me in Bulgaria at least. Dogs are so sweet here. Uh, this is a bit hard to walk on. It's a lot of mud, at least it's a bit dry right now, the weather. Typically in winter it is impossible to access such places because of snow or a lot of mud. But uh, this season is a bit mild, so I'm lucky I guess. I know where the dog is. Hello. It's a brown dog, so I don't really see it here. Anyway, the waterfall is running, so that's nice. Let's check it out. Wow. Not this one, it's in the back. But I guess here, typically, 
in springtime there's a lot of water down here as well. Not right now, unfortunately. But the big one is running. Incredible just how big this nature, how overwhelming the landscapes are. Everything is just huge. A bit of trees on top. Wow. They try this best. Incredible. Yeah, I'm glad I came here at last. It's something worth seeing. Definitely. Special place again. There's just so much to see, it is incredible. Yeah, I've done a lot this week. And, uh, ah, there's the dog. Hey! I didn't really plan my trip well. I just decided to do the, the west. Oh. Initially, I was thinking to do the northeast of the country, including uh, Popovo, even though I've already been there. Uh, Isperi, um, Tutrakan, where I haven't been. I was thinking to check out these places, but some... Uh, hey, it's really... Some followers gave me uh, tips that it's a bit too far and too grey to go there right now, it's just barely worth your trip, you know. Hey. So, yeah, I didn't do that, perhaps in springtime. A nice guiding dog again. I need to go up through the mud, yeah, that's a better way, dog. <laughs> 